Report number two of Davos Experience in Tokyo on October the 6th. Report back well, and like some in interviews. 2030, we uh, made some assumptions. So we would say um, there's, there probably will be some drones that could do delivery. There will be some uh, self-driving cars that would um, bring people around, uh, make them mobile. And the, the population will have uh, aged quite a lot. So uh, it's, it's a big problem in Japan, but it's also a problem all around the world. And uh, so we came up with this pretty cool idea. And Thank you. So, so Nishin, uh, you are no longer a just a food company. You own a property and then build a social community as a whole community. So Nishin can build a nursing home the, so that like aging people can live together so they don't need to uh, feel lonely. And then at the same time, your income household can be helped by those future. Sure. And we imagine what will happen in 2030. Because we do believe that in 2030, our world will be dominated by artificial intelligence. People will be working from home and they'll be always surrounded by their computers. They won't be having any time for human contact or any sort of communication. And that will literally mean that all they will ever do is eat alone. And to solve this problem, we believe Nissan can really create a way for people to eat together, even so they won't be physically present. For that, we will create different noodles with the QR codes that will allow people to connect with favorite animations or, or their friends or strangers through chat rooms. And to talk more about this, Islam will carry on. So, or maybe there will be a chip, so you can take it and you can put on your Google Glass or on lens. So you can, while you are eating, you are not going to feel alone because you will see another person that who already bought another cup noodle, so you can communicate with it while eating. And we can, in the chat rooms, you can personalize your noodles. And for the marketing, we thought about um, like commercials like targeting online and like new graduate yes. uh, my name is Asong Kim and I just entered this company this week okay so you are fresh yeah I'm fresh yeah okay. technically I'm yeah, fresh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you like the session? um yeah it was good it was a good experience um you know it was um you know talking to different people from different backgrounds mm -hmm. And also different culture. Yes. And it was um. It was it was it was a great experience for me. Did uh, your group uh, come up with some something interesting? Yeah. Um. We were um, what, our topic. Yeah. Our topic was topic was um dual um income income income, yeah. income family. Yes. And we have to we had to come up with the idea of like how um those I don't um how those family how do um income family can live more easily like what kind of food or what kind of maybe technology mm -hmm. we can provide to this um, kind of um, family mm -hmm. and we came up with the idea of um, using the technology like drawing or uh, food and uh, together with me is Hamadina Tawek and nice. yeah mm -hmm. and you uh, you're from KMB right? yeah I'm from yeah I'm from KMB from Korea University I'm an exchange student. Right. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Poland. Okay. How did you like the Japan session? I really liked it. It was like a perfect ex uh, experience for me to see how, uh, how, 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 how business works in Japan, how mm. to uh, communicate with business people for real Japanese company. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of learning for me. Uh, and networking with uh, people from Japanese companies is a perfect way to spend it. So that was fun evening at Kabuteria, and I want to thank the people of Nishin to give us this incredible opportunities and a bag of cup noodles. Thank you very much.